Hey everyone, it's Brant, not Brent here. That's right, I said it's Brant, not Brent. And welcome to Let's Get Unreal. So before I dive into recreating the island from Lost in Unreal Engine 5, I just wanted to give you guys a little overview and heads up of what this channel is going to be about. I've had a lot of very interesting and kind of weird career changes throughout my life, but I've never been more excited than for this one, which is going into Unreal Engine development. Now I kind of have a background in graphic design, uh, motion graphics and 3D development already, but when it comes to Unreal Engine, I'm a complete beginner. And my goal for this channel is to have kind of something where, you know, the viewer can come along this journey with me and we can both learn the program together and make some really cool things in the end. Yeah, and if you haven't noticed already, I'm also pretty new to making videos on YouTube. So that's something I hope I can get better at too. Okay, moving on. So let's start talking about Lost. After all, that's the point of this whole video, right? So it's hard to believe, but next year will be the 20th year anniversary of the debut of the show. The show ran from 2004 to 2010. It ran for six seasons Seasons, and many believe that the show was one of the greatest ever created and I kind of agree with them All right, I don't just kind of agree with them. I totally agree with them I think lost was the greatest show ever made and I'm actually willing to die on that hill So why am I doing this? You know other than being like a really big fan of the show I always wanted to know like what a video game of the show would be like and I believe a game came out a really long time ago I never played it, but I heard it wasn't very good um, But I thought you know what if the island could be recreated in Unreal Engine 5 and you can just kind of turn it into a game or a VR experience where you could run around the island and see, you know, lifelike realistic settings where the show took place. So turning this into a game is getting way ahead of myself and I thought, you know, where would the perfect place to begin this process? And that's just like recreating the island. So some of you may be wondering, hey Brant, hasn't this already been done before? Well, not really. Um, a guy by the name of Unbreakable on YouTube did recreate the island in the Far Cry 5 map editor. Um, this was probably five or six years ago, but I feel like the difference between Far Cry 5 and Unreal Engine 5 uh, will be night and day as far as the quality of photorealism of the graphics. Just so you guys know, this video is going to be part one of many videos and you know, it's going to be really difficult and that's kind of the purpose of this whole thing. I want to challenge myself and I want to learn every step of the way. So by the time, hopefully that this is all completed and the island is done, I will be, you know, an expert in a lot of these areas when it comes to Unreal Engine development. Okay, maybe not an expert, but but hopefully I'll know a whole lot more than I do right now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get to the map. Now, one of the first websites I came to in my research was a site called Atlas of Ice and Fire. As you can tell by the name, the site is dedicated to the geography of maps of George R.R. R. Martin, but it's also includes other fantasy worlds such as Lost. From there, they go into different versions of the map. And trust me, there's been a lot of different versions over the years, but the one they consider, and I think that most people consider now, to be the most exactingly created to date was this one created by user Big John. Big John's map is not only the highest resolution, but it's also the most highly detailed and highly refined version of the map. So this is the one I've decided to go with for my recreation of Lost Island and Unreal Engine. If you wanna find out more information about this exact map, Head on over to theislandmap.tumblr.com and you can find out the history of how this map was created. It's time to actually get into Unreal and start recreating the island. So when I first came up with the idea for this project, I really wanted to say that I could recreate the island to scale and I quickly found out that that just would have been way too big. If you look at some of those sites, I think on the Ice and Fire website, it says that it was nearly the 30 kilometers from north to south, and then another about 20 kilometers from you know east to west. So that would put you at uh, roughly about 600 uh, squared kilometers, and that would just be way too big for Unreal Engine. So the optimal site size that I'm going with now is about 4,000 by 4,000, specifically 4,081 by 4,081, and that's a recommended map size. And that'll still give us, you know, 16 uh, squared kilometers, and I think that'll be really great for this project. First, it's important to do, you have to enable the landmass plugin, that's gonna come in handy later. You can see I added ultra dynamic sky. What I'm doing is creating a plane and I'm going to be adding the image of the map to the material and then applying that to the plane. Um, so from there, we will be able to start tracing 
uh, the island and that's the method I'm I'm using and that's the method I found to be most you know efficient and work with the way I want what I want to do for this project now when you place the landmass you can see it's going to be um, like a little uh, shape of the landscape okay so um, what's really cool about this tool is you can um, adjust the cap um, which will create you know different slopes you can adjust the angles um, using splines and that's kind of the best method to uh, use to re create the island so yeah so now this is just basically a, you know a speed video of uh, me tracing the path of the island and if you're not good with splines it might be a little bit difficult for you but this is a pretty um, easy program to use for splines I found when compared to Photoshop or Illustrator it works pretty differently where you don't have to um, adjust the tangent and pull um, the tangent now to smooth the corners and everything you can just keep going like once you place one point the next point on it will smooth out the point before it and i'm really not sure why it works that way in um, unreal engine but that's just the way it works and it works well for this but you can see later on in the video you know i start getting um, some jaggedy edges and i and i smooth those out but um, one of the really cool things about working with this is that you know i get to revisit all the different places on the island. I started originally, you know, watching the show when it aired, and then I rewatched it again during COVID. And now that I'm working on this project, I've started rewatching it for a third time. So being able to get really um, familiar with certain parts of the island is fun uh, and exciting. But but yeah, this, uh, this is kind of, um, like I said, if, if you're not really familiar with splines, this could be a pretty big pain in the ass. And it does take quite a long time, but I think that this is gonna be worth it. One of the big differences you'll see here from doing other island projects that people do is most other people will use um, procedurally generated island masses and landscapes. That means none of it's custom. So when they procedurally generate it, that's just like, you know, you know, the computer is, is calculating angles and objects and it just randomly creates a bunch of stuff. It can make it look really good, but you can't get a custom shaped island that way. And if we wanted to um, recreate the island to look, look like it did from the show, you're gonna have to do it this way. You can't just procedurally recreate the island. So yeah, you can see now I've, I've gone through the first pass and now I'm gonna do an additional pass and um, this one's going to be much faster i'll just go through and i'll adjust you know different different points on the spline to make sure everything lines up with the beaches in the end you know there's a lot of room for error i think when you see the scale of this when our, with our little characters you know it's these little angles if, if some of them are incorrect it's not going to make a big deal in the end um, it'll still look good in the end so i'm not too worried about it just as long as i get the general shape done but yeah, every once in a while you can see I'll turn on the landscape layer again to make sure everything looks like it's lining up, but you can leave it off for the most part. But yeah, once we finish this, one of the other things that I, I kind of saw that I had to do was, you know, there was these mini islands off the main island. And I think one of the problems I'm gonna run into is that these aren't really as accurately portrayed or they can't, they can't be as portrayed as well um, as, as my scale is allowing. And one of the issues is that the shoreline is gonna to be too shallow and it's gonna kind of run into the shore of the main island. And you can kind of see that for these mini islands here, but I don't think it's gonna be like a huge deal in the end. Like I said, uh, I think still visually it'll look really pleasing, but if I do end up turning into a game one day, you probably won't be able to do as much on these really small islands. They're just gonna kind of be for show, but that's fine um, at this point. And um, as long as I have them in there and have them, you know, looking kind of the way I want them to look, I think it'll still look really cool. You'll be able to hop on over there just to like look at the rest of the island. But one of the other problems that I did notice, and I'll say it's a problem, it's gonna be a challenge, but you'll see that the um, the rivers in the big island, that uh, you notice I did not do anything with the rivers. And that's because I haven't actually figured out how the river system is gonna work yet with the uh, fluid plugin that I'm using. I did have that originally um, working with the rivers, but they appeared to be like oceans. And that's not how we really want rivers to look. You know, you want rivers to have flowing water, not to look like, you know, oceans with wave cra waves crashing. And that's what I did. So because of the fluid plugin that I'm using, we kind of had to create the island in a different way. Normally you'd be able to just use the, the ocean plugin that's built into the Unreal Engine, but I found that to be really buggy and not useful for this application. So another video on that later, we'll cover the fluid plugins, but I think you guys will be really surprised with how the, 
the waves and everything looks looks very realistic and we'll get you know uh, the ability to swim in the ocean and it's just gonna look really good so yeah so this was kind of the speed build of just basically tracing the island you see i, I can check the landmass or landscape layers again there but everything's looking pretty good and i'm um, happy with the way this turned out all right so i just want to thank you guys for sticking around if you stayed to watch the whole video um i promise that you know upcoming videos will be more exciting this was just kind of giving a lot of the background of the story and why i decided to do this project and how i came up with the map but uh, if you think this is going to be interesting to you um, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and that's about it and i will see you next video